Look at the temperature change. We're 21 degrees warmer today than we were yesterday. And then out there on the other side of the front, temperatures 20 to 30 degrees colder uh, than yesterday. So pretty dramatic uh, rise and fall on either side of that front. Of course, we're in the next to last day of the month, and you can see we've had more above normal temperatures than below. Right now, we are tied for the ninth warmest March on record, and that is not accounting for today's numbers. So likely we're going to climb up that list. There's only tenths of a degree separating 9, 8, and 7. So we may be in firmly in the top 10 by the time we finish out tomorrow. Otherwise, we've got to start talking about what's to come after that. And we do have some rain in the short term. Thank goodness uh, that we've made a big dent in that moderate drought. 2.13 inches now for the month. That was after starting out with just that three hundredths for um, just about the first three weeks of March. The average is 2.19, so we're pretty close to it and definitely below where we were last year. Cold front will bring some of those showers tonight. You can see probably by 9, 10 o'clock, I think we'll start seeing at least something in the west zone. Behind that front, we'll close out the rain at about 8 a.m. Sunshine tomorrow, but the temperatures start to drop. And notice what happens here on Thursday as that trough dips in. We're looking at snowflakes mainly on the east side, not looking for any accumulation, but it is going to be cold. Check out these wind chills. This is Thursday morning, so if you are planning to go to the game, this may change your mind. 9 to 13, maybe 14 for a wind chill in the city. South zone wind chills will be about 10 to 13 as we get started on Thursday. Some single digits out here in the west zone, in fact, more than not. And if you're in the north zone, you're looking at single digit wind chills on Thursday morning as well. Still only going to feel like the 20s even in the afternoon. Lows tonight 41 and those breezy winds will subside 50 degrees tomorrow. But we got a string of 70s coming for the upcoming weekend and beyond. So back half of the forecast looks pretty good. It's just going to be tough to handle here in the next 48 hours, guys.